empty church. We were marked and didn't even know it. We lived by avoiding eye contact, nights like this one, when the autumn air falls on the skin just long enough for a man to feel needed, to chop and drag, and forget the short lengths of days yet to pass. We passed by not knowing the cost, a price still not paid in full, like earlier today when our daughter found lizards sunning through the slats of the pergola. She named them, made them homes. She doesn't watch the news or know the diction we've spilt on the counter, the corners we've cut in the cleanup, the manufactured grace it takes to teeter between life and death because of a simple choice we make to hold back breath or blow. What I would give to unknow, to unthink, to not speak of a tomorrow or a next week. I just know we can't have reptiles running around in the house. Tonight, against the first frost of the year, the fire we built will go out simply because we didn't tend to it. It has nothing to do with a war on impending darkness. We'll sleep in our bed because our daughter is safe between us and the cold. And by morning, all the lizards will be dead.